Okay, we should be good. Hey guys. Yeah, so I'm gonna attempt crossing Grand Abyss again today. Although this time, like, instead of just relying on going for the dash, I'm gonna attempt the wall crawl. I'll still go for the dash, but if I screwed up, I'm gonna do the do the wall crawl backup instead. So it's hopefully I'll get across, in other words. That way I don't have to constantly reset, which is, which basically was what last stream was. It's me constantly resetting. Let's see if I still got this one in me. Yes, I do. <laughs> so I'm always I'm always going to go for the dash. But if I can't get the dash, then it's going to be the backup. That's fine. <laughs> okay, time to showcase the backup in that case. And it's nice because these res bits actually respawn, so I'll have chances to get drops. Okay, well, <laughs> such was the case, like, a while ago, so... Wait, why am I doing this? I have spider ball. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. Just so you're aware. Okay, so the other strat goes something like like this. So there's an out of bounds in this room that you can do. And it in involves like a, let's first get rid of this quad's body. Like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so I haven't really done this strat on stream before, but basically what this is. Is I have to like, ride his head and jump through the ceiling. Of course this can happen. Okay, so that's actually getting out of bounds. Actually, gonna kill kill him because I want some health and stuff. Yeah, so now I'm officially out of bounds and almost dead. Actually, this is a bad thing because, well, uh, might as well reset. Because if I'm if I'm that low energy, like uh, 
Doing Grand Abyss would require a terminal fall, so I would die after that terminal terminal fall. So <laughs> probably wise to reset in that scenario. And just go for it again. It's either, it's either have an annoying out of bounds like this or do like a much longer wall crawl or Grand Abyss Dash. Like there there aren't real, really many good options that don't involve uh, getting Grapple Beam. <laughs> Okay, that's encouraging though, at least I'm always getting that dash within a few tries. Sometimes even first try. No drops, are you kidding me? Well, I have to roll with it. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't pause. <laughs> I'm not resetting if I fail it. I think I have that muscle memory from yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to opt to get a little bit more energy. And dark ammo too. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm stupid. Man, this collision is so wonky. On this head. Well, at least I'm out of bounds now. <laughs> Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Fresenius, how are you? I'm not past Grand Abyss, by the way. I'm just getting started. I'm just doing a different method. So, I'm doing a method that involves some wall crawling. Yeah, I am a savage, exactly. You said that right. <laughs> Oh, 
hope there's a standable s spot somewhere around here. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a it's a cool uh, out of bounds you can do. It's like uh It's basically like you jump on a quad head and then you I don't want to load that room. Okay, now where was this? Okay, I can't I can't shoot this door open. Droidicas, yeah. <laughs> I don't exactly remember where this aether is. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are just mini. Uh, they're they're quads, so they're like uh, they're basically mini quadraxes. Oh, wait a second, wasn't I supposed to... I'm trying to think of how this uh, out of bounds goes. I think I'm supposed to, uh, I'm supposed to load a watch station. Also, this floor is very sticky. Okay, and I actually need to transition the map onto watch station, so I need to do this while still remaining in this room. So, things are going to get kind of weird kind of quickly. <laughs> Never seen that before. Says well out of bounds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so basically I have this room loaded, but I'm actually in another room right now. Okay, this is, uh... Can't really see where I'm going very well. I'll just rely on the mini-map a little. Just, uh, continue my out-of-bounds navigation. If I remember right, uh, this could be, uh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, that, that was not supposed to go like that. Okay, I'm not going to bother recovering that. 
I was trying to think of where the Aether was, but... I suppose I forgot where it was. Yeah, but that's like the wall crawl backup. So basically, I'm still gonna go for Grand Abyss Dash, but if I fail it, I'm gonna go for that wall crawl anyways. Of course, that wall crawl isn't free either, so... But I'd say out of the two options, it's the easier one. And the wall crawl is still quite hard, so... <laughs> it's a suitable backup. And I have not gotten Grand Abyss Dash at all, even though I spent like three hours on it yesterday. I figure if I was spending three hours on it, it's probably a good time to like throw in the towel, kinda. <laughs> I can do it. It's more of will I do it. This dash though I've been I've still been getting like within the first th few tries so it's fine. Another important thing I need to do before I go for that wall crawl as well as I need to like make sure my energy is either full or like pretty close to full. Yeah see I've, I've gotten that trick like within three t tries today. Okay, well, I'm going to refill my energy after... Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's... It's pretty consistent, which is nice. Even that dash looked decently close. Like, I could tell I was going in the right direction and everything. I need to I need to hit up these boxes over here. This is also a good opportunity to fill up dark ammo too. I'm gonna need unless I want resbits to be cancer, so. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, I can understand you would have flipped if I got it there. I would have flipped too. Also, there's a standable spot on that spider track there. Someone's playing a seventh string. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Understandable. Just need to wait for him to do his thing. There we go. to make sure like he's uh in a good position of course there's always the chance he can move well under you so And this, this collision on him is quite wonky.
Like, there is a standable spot, although it's kind of hard to really pinpoint it with good accuracy. Dude, what? I need to make sure that I make it through. I need like a 19 energy or more because there's a there's a terminal fall that I have to take and that will like cost 10 energy. Okay, this is like yeah, this is over. <laughs> so, I need to make sure I I get I get out of bounds with 9 energy or more. Well, 11 energy or more. But the more the better, because then I'll have... Because after crossing Grand Abyss, there's still going to be some strats and vault that I'm going to have to do. Like, the simplest one involves, like, uh, freezing a resbit with Dark Beam and standing on its shield to get, like behind the vault and then there's another way like with a dash it needs to be a floaty dash though and if you fail that enough times you could die and you have to do grand abyss again Okay, second try, that's good. Okay, no Grand Abyss Dash. It's fine. That's why there's a backup. Wow, I can't even jump. Nice. Well, no matter, because I'm gonna... ...refill some energy anyways. What? <laughs> what? What just happened there?
Okay, there we go. I'm out of bounds again. Just kill him, because why not? There we go. <laughs> When, when Prime 4 comes out, you might just die. Yeah, understandably so. That's going to be incredibly hype. Yeah, exactly. You can shoot it, but it can't shoot you. Such is the way of going out of bounds in this game. Because echoes. Trying to remember how to do this part of the wall crawl. Yeah, there's a huge backlogs of games, like just a few that I know that I know of that I've played myself and that I quite enjoyed. Would be of course uh Breath of the Wild, there's uh Super Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart 8. Like th those three games by themselves are really good. Well, I can scan that respite all the way from over here. It's crazy. I think I, I can really do about like quad though. Unless I do this. Yeah, Odyssey and uh, Mario Kart 8. Yeah, those are the three games. Okay, I'd, I think I need to take a... Oh crap. Dude, no. Well, yeah, so much for that. Yeah, so that's the risk of going for this wall crawl. Jeez, I can't... I, ca I can't find out where the Aether is. I have no idea where the Aether is. It's probably like off to the left somewhere, but I don't even know. Because if you if you fall down there, you you risk triggering a terminal fall, which basically means like the game will reset you back and bounce, and you'll take ten damage. Granted, I do need to do that in Grand Abyss so that I can get to the other side of Grand Abyss. But on the bright side, at least I can go for the dash again. <laughs> and 
And this is why Prime 2 is so broken. Okay, now all of a sudden I can't seem to get this. There we go. Still within, uh, still within four tries is, is fine too. In reality, within like eight tries is perfectly okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I think that one, that time I didn't get enough height, probably. the resbits didn't do uh, didn't do anything but other than that it looked fine oh wow there was like there was two energy drops there When it looked like there was only one. Oh crap, I don't have missiles. Uh, okay, that's that might make this more cancer. Hopefully not, though. Yeah, at least I have lots of energy. That's what matters, but not having missiles kind of sucks. Especially for, like, taking out resbits. Dude. This is, like, how easy th these attacks are to avoid. You just, like can literally sidestep them. Oh, of course he moved out of the way as I was jumping on him, right? Sometimes I just don't to make them feel better, yeah. <laughs> Not make them feel so incompetent. You know what? That's this is this is an okay position. Dude, okay, nice. I'm out of bounds. Wish I could have more energy and missiles, but still, this is this is acceptable. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, watch station is loaded. That's good. I feel like there's some kind of leap of faith I have to do here or something. Just remember every room is outside of a box. I could scan dash here. Wow, that robot just like disappeared as soon as I shot it. No, that didn't work. Damn it. You know what? I'm I'm kind of curious. I want to see I need to like ref refresh myself as to how to do this wall crawl because I'm not entirely sure. Like in particular, I don't know where the aether is, and if if I don't if I don't know where it is, then this is just gonna take like way too long. Like already, I've been streaming for almost an hour. How much progress have I made? <laughs> Yeah, like, like, this should not be that hard, and yet somehow it is. Yeah, I've made practice, yeah, that's true. Progress? No, not really. <laughs> At least I've gotten out of bounds a, couple, a few times, so... <laughs> that's, that's good, that's some progress. Okay, there it is after four tries. It's not too bad. Yeah, like, sometimes it, do it just doesn't. That was a nice energy drop from the res bit, though. Yeah, definitely handy. But I still would like another drop. 
Like, ideally, I like to have 89 energy or more before doing the wall crawl. You know what? I could go with this. I could go with this. Okay, that's fine. I did that thing. Time to jump through the whole literal hole in the ceiling as well. Man, this... Does this trick ever suck sometimes? Just because, well, like, literally that time he just moved from underneath me. He's definitely too far away from the hole now. I don't need a lock on. Maybe I do. <laughs> he's like, he's like on the out, just on the outside of the hole right now. Yeah, you can kind of see you can kind of see it from where he is. Granted, this is not the worst secret world in the game. That would probably be Hive Dash. Yeah, pretty much. He's just like dancing around and shooting me. I might be able to make this work. Might. Okay, now after I take damage, he decides to move. What? <laughs> because Echoes. Yeah, this is over. Not gonna mess or not gonna mess around with that. <laughs> yeah, that it was really weird. He was like uh, dashing in like in the corner, so he was like was moving kind of weirdly. That wasn't nearly as odd as what I saw in Rocket League like yesterday, though. <laughs> From you. I haven't even played Rocket League, and I've seen weird things happen in it. <laughs> I 
Yeah, weird things happen in just about every game, honestly. While pirating, you glitched out of the ship. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You were reading the map and then you were randomly in the water. Oh my god, I'm I'm so disappointed that I wasn't around to clip that. Okay, there it is after just two tries. Nope. <laughs> that looked, uh, that also looked pretty close, too. Again, I don't think I got enough height there. Still is worth going for. By the way, like, that standing on the Resbit shield, I, I'm going to be using that at some point. As soon as you press the stop reading button, wow. <laughs> Dropped out of the ship, ship and right through the deck, holy crap. Of course he moved when he, right when he was below me. Dude. Wow. Like, that almost worked too. This is probably over. See, look, look at that. He's literally moving around at the worst times. This is why manipulating ener enemies sucks for going out of bounds. Because uh, you can get bad RNG and then that can happen. <laughs> You're sad. If it helps, I'm sad too. Because <laughs> it's Grand Abyss. And because it's Echoes.
One of your coworkers put really bad pop music on the speakers. Urge to kill rising, yes. <laughs> oh my god. That's... That feeling is just the worst. It's not Rush or Dream Theater on the speakers. It's something that's way, way terrible. <laughs> Oh nice, first try. That's good. What? What? Okay, at least he gave me a missile back though, but that was dumb. You have to admit that was dumb. Like, that hitbox was just so ridiculously nonsensical. I'm going to I'm going to wait until I get out of bounds before I decide I want to look it up. Well, there goes some energy. Thankfully he dropped some though. Dude. Okay, at least he didn't get stuck up there. Okay, there we go. I'm out of bounds. <laughs> that was easy, right? Yeah, I totally made that look easy. I, I need to check out a video on this uh, wall crawl. I'm just going to get on a nice standable spot. over here. I'm just gonna check this out. I'm gonna hide my chat for the time being. <laughs> Should be on YouTube somewhere. Okay. See Grand Abyss wall crawl.
Okay, faster ground or best wall crawl. What is this? Oh, that's that's not it. Yeah, they're going from Oh, no wonder. Spelt it wrong. <laughs> no, I don't want that stuff. Oh, this is Grand Abyss Dash. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that. Grand Abyss In-Depth Guide Tutorial. Might be this one. Yeah, I'm gonna need the a sound for this. <clears throat> okay. Um, to start off this tutorial, um, I'm going to Nintendo because that's what you're gonna want to be practicing on. If you have an older version, this won't be a problem, but go into the settings by pressing B and turn on unlock read speed. This will make the loading times faster. Uh, if you have an older version of Dolphin, that's it's already unlocked and you can't turn it off. Okay, I don't think that's the one. do out of bounds. Let's see what it says. No, I don't think it's that. I can't really seem to find... I can't really seem to find much of anything on it. Get my chat back up. Oh, 
Oh, there's something I can scan way over there at least. That might be a door. Couple things I can scan. Ah, oh, damn it. Didn't put me in Aether, though. Of course, the main question to me is where the heck is the Aether? Like, I have this vague memory of, a, of the Aether being, like, around, like, the Sanctuary Temple area. At least I get to go for Grand Abyss Dash again. So... <laughs> I saw the, like a quick little video on it. on it. They got a floaty jump and then, or floaty dash, and then they did. Uh... Oh, of course, I jumped too late there. And they were like right on the very edge of the fence thingy. Of course, I didn't get it fast enough. Of course not. Of course. Full energy and no missiles, let's go. Like, I don't think there's there's any reason why I shouldn't get this wall crawl. Just actually figuring out what I need to do. Uh, excuse me? Well, there are the missiles that I wanted. <laughs> Of course he moved right out of the way. Of course he did. He's not like in the best spot. Could have worked. If only I wasn't an idiot. Come 
Come on, get me out of bounds. Dude, well. Okay, now it really doesn't matter. Because now, like, uh... No matter what I do, like, it doesn't matter because I'm going to die anyways after a terminal fall, so... I'll at least use this opportunity to practice this wall crawl and at least find the Aether. Okay, I'm facing a good way, that's good. Uh, excuse me? I'm glad I could recover that. Because that was looking a little bad there for a second. Uh, yeah, that's... No. <laughs> Just no. Seriously, though, where the hell is this Aether? Can't I can't really seem to find a video on it. Like, all the videos of Grand Abyss just show the dash, as far as I know. There it is. First try. If only I could make Grand Abyss Dash look that easy. Uh, dude. Of course. That is not a dash. That's just a jump.
Dude. This guy is being so uncooperative right now. I say that and then look at that. All of a sudden I get out of bounds. Beautiful. thing is, I am quite sure that this part went like this. like not being able to see myself. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, oh, rip. I did not know that I would fall off there. This is so frustrating. I'm frustrated that there's like no help available for this trick like anywhere. And yet, I could swear there used to be. That is why I'm so frustrated.
Okay, well, no dash. As expected. I'm gonna continue to like search it up in a little bit. In a little bit. To think like the only reason why I can't get this trick is because I can't remember where the aether is. Like I have no idea where the aether is. Come on, get closer. Dude, the you should have, like, pushed me out of bounds at that raid. Well, this, uh, this guy can be so uncooperative. There we go. <laughs> Last. <laughs> You've been back at forth, yeah, understandably. No, it isn't. Like, the o literally the only reason why this isn't going well is one, I can't find where the Aether is, and two, there don't seem to be many resources for this particular secret world.
Okay, let me see. No, I don't want item loss skip. And that's a Grand Abyss Dash, which I don't want. Seriously, where the frick is this aether? Yeah, funny thing, Fresenius, I don't actually want the room to trigger. I actually want to just find out where a patch of Aether is. Oh shit, no. Um, that's not what I wanted. Wait. Is this Aether? Okay, well, I need to make note of my horizontal. Yeah, I'm like way off. Okay, I think there's good news. I think I just found the Aether. Holy crap, okay. It's going to be a long way up, but it's doable.
What now? Well... Shit. I'm trying to climb up. It's gonna be a long ways, but... Basically, I'm doing something called Aether Jumps. By the way, each Aether Jump is a three-frame window, too. <laughs> so, basically what I'm doing is I'm le leaving this, uh... Invisible area known as Aether. So I'm just like, a. You can see already I've gained quite a bit of height, so... I need to relax when I'm doing this. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty it's pretty difficult to do them consistently. So imagine like you have the spring ball. Yeah, breathe. <laughs> You have the spring ball and you're trying to jump from a morph ball tunnel to another morph ball tunnel above it directly. So it's, it's similar to that. If you think Aether jumping's bad in this game, in the original Metroid Prime, it's a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying- yeah, I'm trying to go, uh, to the very top of the room. Also, what's known as the skywalk of the room. Oh, I think I'm there. So, yeah, so basically now I can walk on top of uh, Watch Station, which is the name of this room. Okay, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... <laughs> Trying to run a game like this. Okay, now I actually need to see my mini map because I need to go forward a little bit. Okay, this should be okay. I'm gonna morph here to fall off. 
Okay, so now I'm like above uh, the door leading to Grand Abyss. And then as for the next part, it's like, uh, you're gonna have to look at this next part up. Grand Abyss Wall Crawl. Okay, so there's a okay, so there's a standable spot. Kind of right next to the door. Where's that standable spot? Yeah, so this, like, getting through this door is actually extremely awkward. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty brutal so I can't actually access the door directly I have to do so kind of indirectly I wasn't messing around when I said this would be a weird wall crawl. Yeah, exactly. Like, how do people find this stuff? To heck if I know. <laughs> I would like to know. Okay, I seem to be able to stand here just fine.
Okay, this is a standable spot as well. Yeah, that's that's me. I keep doing that. Mainly like when I'm watching videos and stuff. How the hell am I going to reach this door? Yeah, that's that's basically why Speaking of that, I'll, I'll take a look at the video again. Okay, so they're like right on the edge of this thing that I'm standing on. So they go kind of upright, fall for a bit, go like, or upright and then up left to get next to the door and they kind of slide across the door to transition it I suppose that makes sense I think they're doing it from, like, right over here. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, rip. That... Okay, that was... That was somewhat it, but that also wasn't it. At least the good thing there is, uh... Is I transitioned to Grand Abyss. Though not in the right way, like I was too, I was too low on the door, so I fell off when I, when I did the transition. Yeah, holy crap, this is crazy. Okay, well, at least I know where the... Yeah, so, yeah, for Xenius, the idea is to load Grand Abyss, and then you want to, like, wall crawl to the other side, do the terminal fall on the other side, and then you'll appear on the other side. So that's the general idea of what's going on. And literally the hardest part of this wall crawl is getting through that door. Late of a jump. I think that was an early jump. Yep, yeah, be right back. Yes, sounds good. Okay, now all of a sudden I'm failing this. Okay.
Well, so much for that. Okay, that's the first time I've massively failed that dash today, so... I can get it first try for a while, or like, within three tries for a while, and then all of a sudden I can't get it within like, ten tries. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, excuse me? There we go. Well, whopping ten energy for that. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to grab uh, more energy refills. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Well, I guess that's how I take care of res resbits when I run out of missiles, so... Okay, at least I got a solid attempt at the secret world. Like, I know I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this version. Oh my god, really? There we, there we go. Okay, out of bounds again at least. <laughs>
load uh wa Dude, okay, that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> supposed to have the map on the other room. A map on watch station, not on this room. here. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's... Okay, now I'm actually in the Aether. So literally just a scan dash to the right. Oh crap, well. Wow. I should aim like right about here. Maybe here even. Okay, now I'm on the skywalk, which is good. It's just literally getting past this one door. That's the kicker.
Okay, okay, I'm officially in Grand Abyss now. Oh shit. Oh! Ma why? Why? What happened? Okay, I really should look up what's going on there too. Cause that was that was dumb. Freaking kidding me, dude. Like, everything there looked good. Oh, I see what I needed to do. I needed to, like, slide along the... I needed to, like, slide along that side. That's what I needed to do. Yeah, as long as I, like, slid along the side of the thing rather than along the top, that would have worked. No drops, but that's okay. Think of also what I was scanning. To be fair, it might have been a resbit. That or like, uh, that lore over there. As I say that, I get energy. I feel like I'm so close to getting this wall crawl thing working. That's the thing. Like, even with that attempt, I was really close. Dude.
course it moved right underneath my feet. Okay, good. That was pretty fast. I was quite pleasantly surprised at how fast that went. Now I go around here. Excuse me? Of course I didn't pull back into the aether, right? Well, at least I finally found out where the Aether is. Okay, now I'm on the I'm on the top of the room. At least some of this trick is coming back to me, you know, which is good. There's always one thing about wall crawl wall crawling in any prime game. It might look super boring, but you can guarantee that's hard to do. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, I'm on the standable spot now. Sweet.
Okay, good stuff. Oh shit, am I stuck? Oh fuck, I could be stuck. Okay, good. I'm not stuck. Let's go a little bit. Okay, I've, 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 I'm getting close. Okay, so now I'm literally just navigating my way around the room while out of bounds. Not out of the woods yet, though. Okay, but this is looking good. So now, as long as I go over here, now if I terminal fall, like that, bam, I'm on the other side of Grand Abyss now. Okay, but I'm still not out of the woods yet because. I still have to get screw attack, and there are a couple tricks involved in that, so... One thing I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and freeze that red spit, climb on his shield, and then walk on top of that... vault there. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my god, that's... Oh my god, I need... Holy shit! <laughs> oh god, I can't believe I just did it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm almost home free now. I just need to... I just need to, like, not die to respites. Of course, that guy's gonna be... Oh, I have an idea, actually. Let's do this. I'm gonna use the portal so that I can reset all the enemies in the room. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, now I, I actually feel like I'm making progress. And a nice uh, side effect of this, I get to refill my energy too. If I just sit here. Holy crap, I feel good after that. <laughs> oh my god. So. Five hours of turmoil, just to get past Grand Abyss, but it's all over. Well, it'll be over once I get screw attack.
I believe there's also like a, a mistake here too at some point. Like one of these portals, not this one. I think it's the other portal in this room that has the mistake, but it's like, it plays like the wrong cutscene or something. It's kind of funny. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, okay. Could have been a lot worse, but I'll take it. Okay, so now I just need to like spin all these things around. Not die to resbits. Everything should be good. And there's like one more dash to get myself back over there really fast, but it's very easy, so. Oh, perfect. He dropped energy too. And this is why I like Dark Beam so much. <laughs> Just need to make sure I activated all the things. Because if I didn't, then that would suck. And of course I fell off. Oh, that one's... Okay, that one's activated too, at least. Okay, so now... Okay, there's all... There's one more thing I need to do. Shouldn't be too hard, mind you, but I need to do just a simple dash. Just like that. And now I'm back here, and now I can get screw attack. Holy shit. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh my god, that's that is that is a huge weight lifted off me right now. Holy shit, I feel good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And now I'm going to make crossing Grand Abyss look easy as heck, so... Because with st screw attack, it is easy as heck. Oh my god, that's just what I needed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Five hours just for that. Oh, you missed it. Do it again. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> what did you miss, uh, Fresenius? Like, uh, me getting screw attack or getting uh, across Grand Abyss without a bounce? Well, either way, I'm definitely going to save, so. <laughs> I also don't no longer need to do that dash across this across this pit either, so. That's also quite nice. Yeah, I am a monster. That's, that's true. Although, I'm not Miles. Miles is a machine. So. Yeah, you saw that I was in the out of bounds. Yeah, but I was successful in that out of bounds, so. Stupid work. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 
Yeah, I definitely want to save after that one. Yeah, so literally all I needed to do in the Out of Bounds, after I transitioned to Grand Abyss, I had to like, go along like this, uh, the hexagonal tube. It's, it's, it's hard to describe, but it's like, at the first little bit of the room, there's like a little tube. I just had to go along that. He's programmed to do that stuff in his sleep, unfair. Yep, I, I would agree. Actually, now that I think about it, I should open up this portal as well, because... Yeah, I should open up that portal. Samus dropped her shoulders like, finally, are you kidding me, yeah? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I did as well. I didn't get the Grand Abyss dash, but at least I crossed Grand Abyss somehow. Oh, I just remember what I was doing. Okay, let's get my super missiles ready. Oh, of course. I can't fire super missiles because no, not enough missiles. This'll work though. There's actually another, t there's a trick in this room to like activate this portal without going through all the spider ball stuff as well. So yeah, this game has a lot of standable spots. Yeah, I did make very solid attempts for it. Like, a, a few of them got pretty close. Especially, like, my later attempts. Yeah, so basically there's a trick here where you can... You can, like, uh, morph into a uh, bomb slot and then open up this portal. Which I'm gonna want to do because it's like, okay, here's the spot where you need to stand. So I think the visual cue is, like, somewhere... Okay, nice, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that that's, that's the strat. So it's pretty simple. It's like, you jump backwards, you insta-morph into the bomb slot, and there you go. There's a portal. Indeed has standable spots. You wonder if it was intentional. I don't know. It's this is Echo, so <laughs> because Echoes. Yeah, that was a ghetto jump. That's right. Kind of a silly name for a trick, but... Like, slope jump seems a lot more, uh, a lot more accurate. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, so for Xenius, you want a capital, capital because and echoes. Just like this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, now I no longer have to worry about crossing that stupid gap again. A parkour jump. Yeah, you're jumping kind of off something. That's 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 a fair point. Okay, what 
I need to think of like how much. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> because echoes. How many items do I have left? I think I just have a dark visor, light suit, and annihilator left to collect. So. And of course, Sky Temple keys, but those don't count towards percentage, anyways. Also, I don't want to enter that portal because there's literally no reason to. Also, fun fact, this game is broken, so the spider ball track doesn't really exist, even though it's, like, right here. Because <laughs> I haven't, I haven't actually defeated Spider Guardian yet. Maybe I'll BSJ up here, actually. Also, there's an out, out of bounds in this room, too. Okay, there we go. Pretty easy trick. Yeah, BRB work. Yeah, understandable. See you in a bit, Fresenius. Wow, what, what, what? <laughs> that, I did not expect that to happen. Wow, look at all that juicy lag. For whatever reason, this portal is always super laggy. Okay, so next I do actually have a wall crawl coming up. A rather short one, but still a wall crawl. So, one of the items that I'm not getting actually is Echo Visor. Let me tell you, there are pretty interesting ways to skip it. Like, this is the only room where you would quote unquote require it. Also, I have screw attack, so that gap means nothing. Okay, so by the way, there is a there's a way to go out of bounds in this room. Let's see if I can actually get it though. There we go.
Oh, what? Okay, this is going to suck. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course I died. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, basically what's going on there is I'm trying to, like, load the, I'm trying to load the room around me. Because I do intend to get Annihilator, even though it's not, like, a strictly required item. Just because it means I have to do, f I, d I do fewer wall crawls, so... That wall crawl that I was going for there was actually, is actually a, like a rather brutal one. This game wasn't already brutal enough. I do want to like access that save room before Quadraxis. So it would be nice that I wouldn't have to use that, do that wall crawl every single time. By the way, Fresenius, I want to tell you something too. Like I downloaded a, I downloaded a ROM of a, a Link to the Past actually. That I'm going to be using. I might be using for randomizer occasionally. So, but that'll be neat. Let me tell you, that game has some pretty crappy bosses though. It has its share of uh, bullcrap. Literally this, literally there's just a hole in the ceiling you can jump through here. Which is why this out of bounds is possible. This is like one of the easier out of bounds in this game I would say. Not including out of bounds that use a s screw attack. <laughs> and there are lots of those. <laughs> oh, actually, I do. 
I do know a nice way to... get into the area with, like, the save room and stuff. So simply what I'll do here, just to make this nice and easy, is run forward, drop down, have the room load around me. Just like that. There we go. <laughs> now I'm... now that works. Better yet, I'm right by a save station and an ammo station. All ready for Quadraxis. Oh, uh, dude, what? I think the save station's literally right over here. I'm gonna shoot the missile there and then hope for a drop. Nope. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get missile drops during the Quadraxis battle anyways, but I think that'll have to wait for next time. Because I've already spent, like, quite a while today, so... Mainly just crossing Grand Abyss and getting screw attack, so... Yeah, this... <laughs> Memories of this fight. You remember playing multi multiplayer on this? Oh yeah, like... Echoes multiplayer. <laughs> yeah, Quadraxis is like... I want to say Quadraxis is the best boss in the entire game. Without a doubt. So yeah, basically I have full light ammo. Missiles, super missiles don't matter like too much. As far as that though. Yeah, but the main thing is that I got screw attack today. That's that's important. Actually, I wonder if there's an out of bounds that I can do with screw attack around here somewhere. Maybe not. I would require a more full tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I also remember playing Echoes multiplayer at some point. So look at that in the distance. Too bad you can't reach it though.
Thanks to invisible walls. Yeah, getting screw attack immediately means successful day. So, um, next time I stream, which probably will be on Friday, most likely, I guess I'm going to be fighting Quadraxis and doing a trick to, to skip the Ing Hive keys as well, so thankfully a pretty simple trick. Oh, wait a sec. I'm going to have to eventually get that uh, Sky Temple key over there, too. I can't, you can't get there, that's sad, yeah. You tried a few times, yeah. <laughs> yeah, invisible walls, <laughs> of course. Yeah, exactly, we got a sort of like a two-player, one-controller thing to do. Like, uh, I know I suggested to you, uh, I suggested to you like Metroid Prime 2P1C or the Thousand Year Door 2P1C. Yeah, and it, it would be interesting because, like, uh, for those for those games, one of us would be doing. I guess one of us would be responsible for doing like. Uh, I guess you could say like the s L, the s the stick, the D pad, pause, for like those things, and then the other person would do like. A, B, X, and Y, Z, R, and the C stick. Yeah, that would make Metroid Prime quite a bit interesting to do it like that. Probably just a casual playthrough, though. Yeah, they would both be good options. <laughs> we would just have to figure out like who would be who would be uh, doing like which side of the controller. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm uh, now I'm just screwing around, obviously. <laughs> yeah, so, oh yeah, that and we gotta, we gotta like, yeah, that and we gotta like uh, meet IRL sometime too. Mainly for the two P one C, but also just to hang out, you know. Pit of a hundred trials, two P one C, kill me. <laughs> I know, Pit of a Hundred Trials, Badgeless, 2P1C. Two, two <laughs> in, that, in that case, uh, I'd better get on the... I'd better be on the right-hand side so that I can do Bone Tails... <laughs> bone Tails Super Guards. <laughs> yeah, screwing around. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Anyways, uh, so I'm I'm gonna go host someone. Let me see uh, who's let me see who's actually streaming right now. I'm just gonna hide my chat for a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, someone's... Well, a lot of Link to the Past randomizer. <laughs> that's... That's one thing. So, yeah, because a Link to the Past is similar to this game in concept... In fact, I think this game took some inspiration from a Link to the Past. Yeah, of course. Sounds good. Yeah, I can message you. So, um... I think I'll host some of the... Well, these guys haven't been live. That one hasn't been live for very long. Yeah, so I'll go host that. And other than that, take care everyone. Bye. And uh, see you through Xenius as well. Sometime in real life, of course. There we go. There's my chat again. <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs>